believe it or not, I believe today is number 100. Number 100 of what's really hood. Sorry, that called for a loading screen. Okay, loading screen, we're good. PS1 loading screen. But anyway, um, yeah. Today I, I wanted to talk about something, and I'd like to know everybody's favorite one. So uh, first of all, I want to say on behalf of being number 100, I really hope it is, because if it isn't, it's going to be really dumb. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much for everybody who's ever giving me an idea to t of what to talk about everybody who's commented and I really hope you guys enjoy this stuff. I really, really, really do. Um, I'm just driving on my way to work. Thought I'd say a video. A lot of negative stuff out on YouTube. Uh, a lot of videos that just talk about the same old shit all the time. Uh, yeah, I bought this game. Woo! Like, okay, cool. So I figured I would start a What's Really Hood and talk about uh, different stuff, like gaming topics, and in a positive way. Not talking about people, not making fun of people, um, not going down the drama route. It's something that you guys could listen to while doing your dishes, doing your laundry, working on the car, driving, uh, mowing the lawn, shoveling the driveway, whatever you do. And I figured you could use this to listen to and that you would enjoy it and maybe you'd like to comment maybe not maybe you just have fun listening to it either way it's been really fun it'll continue to go on this will not stop because i enjoy doing it and it's easy to do i know these aren't uh, highly edited or anything like that but that's not the point the point is to just talk about video games something that most channels struggle to do um, everything's about buying and selling. Everything's about physical versus digital. Everything's about drama. Talking about this person, making fun of this person, doing this to this person. And here on the Megadan channel, we're positive. We talk about fun video game topics. And we don't just sit there and shit on other people. I don't, I don't feel good doing stuff like that. So I don't do stuff like that. So... Yes, I see all the things that get said about me. Yes, I hear all about it. Yes. But Megan Ann doesn't need to clap back to a bunch of losers. And I keep things positive and good here. And nobody's going to stop me from doing that. This is what I like to do. I don't need to spread negativity. We spread positivity to give you guys a good day. When you listen to this channel, we're trying to have a good day. That's what we're trying to do. So... The next topic today is your favorite arcade D arcade sports game. So we're not talking about Madden here. Madden is not arcadey. Arcadey, I'll name some shit. NHL hits, MLB Slugfest, NFL Blitz, NFL Street. NBA Jam, NBA 2K, NBA Showtime, Hang Time. Uh, is there another NHL one? I mean, you could say NHL on ice. Uh, that's in the arcades. It's kind of like hits. Um, is there another baseball one? I guess sometimes you could add those NES games. A lot of NES games play a lot like arcadey. Like, you know, Bad News Baseball... And a Dusty Diamond Softball. That, that's arcade. You know, that's arcade uh, So what do you guys prefer? What's your what's your favorite arcade sports game? Or do you like not even like arcade sports games? Maybe you're just like, ah, oh, shit's garbage. I like playing the real thing, you know? Maybe. That's fine. Um, you could choose Mario 2, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Hot Shots Golf. Um... You know, Mario uh, Mario Strikers. Uh, what was the the FIFA? Was It was Red Card? Wasn't that the name of the uh, soccer NHL hits type games? So that's free. I got to get that, by the way. Why the fuck don't I own that? I got to try that shit. 
Um, that might be dope as hell, for real. But, um, yeah, what's your favorite uh, games? I would even say something like Blades of Steel is arcadey. Because it's just not realistic. It's just not. When you're beating the shit out of a guy and he gets penalized and carried off the ice, that's definitely not accurate. <laughs> so my favorite is easily, easily, NHL hits. Easily. And that was probably very obvious to most people because I've played through a full-fledged season with Gaming Off the Grid, which was me, Robert, and Wes. It's three on three, so we had a full squad. And then I did another full season with my boss, Pete, and then my friend, Josh, and we had a three on three season. And then I just played one on one against Stampede Gaming. That was fun. And I've played a ton of uh, one player, too, over the years. But let me tell you, I never realized till I played Gaming Off the Grid, like how cool that game is. I don't think I gave that game enough credit back in the day. That's that's for sure when I was a kid. I mean, no reason I didn't own hits. And my, me and my friends are just playing that all fucking night. I mean, there's there's no reason. I mean, that is, it's amazing. Why didn't we do the three on three back in the day? Like, bro, I had the multi-tab. I had the PS2 multi-tab, bro. That's crazy I didn't take that. Like, talk about a fucking missed opportunity back then, dude. Holy shit. So, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely NHL hits. Probably 2002. Um, I know Stamps was talking about in the when we played. When we played, he said 03 had more strategy involved. I, I like it when the games are so basic, though. Um, we were just talking about this over the weekend when I was at my boss's house. We were playing Dusty Diamonds, me and Josh did against each other. And I love how simple it is. Simple, dude. Super duper simple. And just, it's brainless, man. It's like you don't even have to, you can pick it up and two minutes later you fully understand how to play the game. You know? I just like that. I guess any NFL Blitz is really good for that. I just recently tried uh, Street. The only thing I hate about N NBA and NFL Street is the Game Breaker shit. I don't like that. And what the Game Breaker is, is basically you get Game Breaker and you become like super OP for like a possession. So in NFL Street, it's like a guaranteed forced fumble guaranteed interception or if you're on offense it's a guaranteed touchdown it might you might as well hit game breaker and it just gives you a touchdown it, it, that that would make more sense but for some reason it's just kind of dumb like it's just I don't know I, I just don't like game breaker on NFL Street you could turn it off and NBA Street I don't think you can I think you have to play with game breaker and I just don't like that it's so dumb I don't know. I just think it's poor, dude. But, uh, they are fun games, though. I'm not taking anything away from them. It's just, I just don't like that, though. I will say NBA, or, uh, sorry, NFL hits, or NFL Street is still not arcadey enough. It's still too much like a real football game. It is. It's too much like, eh. You still got to use too much simulation. NFL Blitz is perfect. NFL Blitz is right under um, NHL hits for me, probably. But I don't know. At the same time... At the same time, dude, I love NBA Jam. I do. I love NBA Jam. Have you guys ever played NFL Extre or, uh, NBA Extreme on the PS1? It has Sean Kemp on the cover, and he's dunking. It's 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 kind of poor, to be honest. <laughs> it was like NBA Jam on PS1 is, is what it is. And it's just, I don't know, man. It doesn't control very well. You would think with those rosters, like, oh, this is going to be fucking awesome, dude. And I seen it. Uh, me and Stampede Gaming, when he was in town, we went to Disc Replay. And it was Black Friday, and I happened to see it on the shelf, and I was like, 
what the fuck is this? I was like, NFL Extreme, or NBA Extreme, and I have NFL Extreme. And so I was like, okay, so this is NBA Extreme. Sean Kemp on the cover, and I looked at the back of it, and I go, oh, this is fucking NBA Jam, dude. That's what this is, you know? So I was like, damn, did NBA Jam a PS1? Why have I never heard of this? And so I was like, I gotta get this, dude. So I went ahead and bought it. And it's okay. I mean, he did have a couple of hilarious things. Stampede was watching me play it. And he was sitting there. I think he was like, you know, thinking like, God, I'm thinking it's so funny. But I was cracking up, dude. There was this there was this dunk where I ran. And if you had turbo on, I had Scotty Pippen. And he would jump super high in the sky. And then he would like bring the ball down like a missile and make a missile sound. It'd be like, boo. And then when you go in there. He goes through the rim, dude, and just like, and like goes into the ground, dude. And it didn't like acknowledge it. So it was almost like it was a glitch. So it was hilarious, dude. I was like, what the fuck? And they just, they would jump so high that they're like off screen. I'm like, God, it was just, it was cracking me up. So he's sitting there watching me, and I'm just going, God, look at this. <laughs> and he's doing, like, twirls and dunking it. <laughs> but it, it didn't control good, dude. It was bad. It was kind of bad. <laughs> but uh, it was definitely one of those games I'm glad to have it. But it's like, I don't know if I'll play it a lot, though. But it's like, it definitely a cool piece to have. I, I want to spend more time with it. But it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Definitely be a game to play two player. <laughs> just because, like, it's just fucking chaos, <laughs> you know? That's why at conventions all the time, we always play NFL Blitz. Because anybody can win. Crazy fucking shit all the time is happening. And it's just really fun. It's always a close game. It's really fun. Definitely if you go to people's houses or you're going to go to, like, gaming conventions or anything like that where you're going to be around a lot of other gamers definitely play NFL Blitz like it's just hilarious you don't even have to know how to play football dude you don't even have to know it's easy and uh and with the rubber banding it keeps the scores close so it's it's pretty easy stuff man but uh anyway other than that um yeah my favorite though NHL hits 0-2 I, that's, that's, that's my favorite, dude. NHL hits 03, the only thing, other thing I didn't like about it, we noticed it because me and Got G, we played through a season on that, too. We played 02 and 03. And the only thing about 03 is, it's like, it tried, even with goal scoring, it became a lot more realistic. And it's like, you know, they block stuff that they're supposed to block. The thing about 02 is, it's just fucking nuts, dude. And, stupid shit goes in. Like, you could shoot it from the half, uh, the halfway mark. And it might go in, dude. Like, it's just stupid. <laughs> and that's what makes it fun, you know? That game, which I have up on the channel, if you haven't watched that between me and Stampede, holy fuck. That was intense, dude. I was like, fuck, when he'd score. I'm like, shit, dude. Stampede was really good at one-on-ones, man. He, now, he added skill to it there, dude. Like, holy fuck. He would, like, deke my fucking uh, goalie and get him to bite at something, and then he'd shoot it the opposite way. I'm like, holy shit, dude. That was, he was really good at that, dude. I was like, I cannot leave him open. I, I still remember I was up by two goals, and I'm like, okay, let's play some D, man. And then I fucking leave him wide open, dude. He goes one-on-one -on -one scores. I'm like, fuck, man. Shit. Like, I'm literally in my head telling myself, Play defense, defense, keep somebody back, keep somebody back. And then what I do, fucking give up a breakaway. Like, son of a bitch, man. So I still pulled it out, but oh, man, only because his goalie fucked up, dude. And that's what's fun about the game. It's just dumb shit happens where his goalie was out for no reason. <laughs> his goalie came out, dude, to like the circle. <laughs> the inner circle. And it just left it wide open. So I fucking took the puck and just shot it in. He goes, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's just fun. It's just, you, you, like, see how I remember that? You know, because it was fun. It's just, it's funny. <laughs> I did have some epic nights, though. 
of MLB Slugfest with my buddy, Andrew. We would go get fucking wasted at this place called the 10th Inning. And it was like literally right across the street from his house. I mean, fucking right there. So we would just walk over there. And we'd walk back to his house, go to his room. And we would just fucking play MLB Slugfest. Just wasted, dude. And it was just fun. We said, gotta throw strikes. And we're just gonna play that way, you know. And so we started doing that. And we threw all strikes. And it was fun. I love to play somebody in Ken Griffey Jr. baseball. Because I... Again, guys, I don't count that as really arcadey because it is a lot like real life. It's not enough arcadey. It's a little bit. I still think that's enough simulation where I don't really count it. And plus, multiplayer is where it's at for hits. The only problem with Griffey is if somebody, like me and Stampede, were going to play Griffey against each other, but I told him, I go, you're going to get fucking cooked though, dude. I said, because you, you do you even know how to play defense? And he's like, eh, no, probably not. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to kill you, dude. I'm going to kick your ass. You know, it's like, it's not even going to be fun. I'm just going to kill you, dude. And it's like, let's not do that. You know, I go, if, if you could find somebody who knows how to play, it'd be fucking awesome, dude. Like, two people that know what they're doing in, in Ken Griffey would be awesome. Like, I'd love to play, like, Brothers Forge Gaming or something. He's really good at it. Dude, that'd be fun. Holy shit. That'd be really, really, really fun. But uh, I don't really count that as straight up arcade. Either. I'm thinking of more stuff where you get into crazy fights and crazy things happen and the midway games and stuff, you know? But anyway, guys, this is number 100. I'm almost at work. Again, it's been fun. It's been awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I um, hope you really enjoy it. I enjoy doing them. And, uh, and yeah. Um, I'll be around and give me more topics, give me more stuff to talk about if you want to hear it. Um, I'm always open to ideas. And, um, and yeah, I'm just uh, going about my day here. Another work week, man. So I'll be back probably tomorrow. And I uh, hope you guys are having a really good day, a really good week if I don't talk to you. And uh, just really excited for the things to come uh things coming up. Let's just say I had an important day today. Going a little bit on some personal shit here. But I had an important day where I went and did something and uh, we might have some things going in gear. So, pretty uh, pretty happy about it. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. God bless you. Have a good one.